to for this one here you'll see that it just pops down and to the left and then pops back up again so we want to just maintain it just bring it back up roughly in there and that's going to work fine and we'll do the same now for the second track point we'll just zoom in on on it and it's also got a couple of big zags out there as well and uh, we'll come through to that foreground object and we're just going to step using the page up page down key and then sure enough it's, it gets to the edge of that foreground object that loses its track data so we just want to bring it across line it back up with where it should be and that's that's pretty close to where it needs to be and then this one down here as well it should be back up in here And that's going to work nicely. You, you can certainly take some more time to really track that, that out, but it's a little bit of guesswork, a little bit of eyeballing. And now we have our two track points. Um, we need to apply that to our footage to stabilize the footage. So if we click on, just slide this down a little bit, we have our apply, or I'll bring that up. We have our apply button, and if we click that, we get the choice of X only, Y only, or X and Y. Now X and Y is what we want, so click that, go OK, and it then applies our stabilization to the footage. And if I just bring my uh, background color back up so that you can see it in black there, you'll see that the footage is now moving around, but those mountains are actually s stabilized in the image. And that's exactly what we want. So, now that we've got our image stabilized, what we can